Hey people, I've got another little device for review. This time it's also a scanner. It's little, but very powerful. Uh, it's based on X-Tool. The only difference, it's a simple Bluetooth plug that works off your phone, off your Android device. So you don't need to carry big stuff with you, that you don't need to carry big stuff with you. It, it can be constantly plugged in. It shows your battery voltage on the display and um, it does, does everything. All the updates, this one promises lifetime free updates. For the price, I think it's a really good value because it can do a lot. You get QR code here and this QR code uh, leads you to the website with the full instructions of Xtool. So if you aren't familiar, you can always go there. Now we can plug in into our OBG port. I'm gonna start the car. See, it shows you battery voltage. So it shows your current battery voltage. So if we can start the car. See if it's charging. So it dropped a bit during the start. And then it goes up. Um, I think my alternator may be not as good because it's showing only 13.1. Yesterday it was showing 14 and a half. So maybe that's a good time I got this device so I can know. So with the engine running, your um, battery voltage should be around 14 volts. So with the normal alternator. So our device showed 13.1, 13.2. And we, if we measure battery terminals, 13.3, which I think I think my alternator needs to be replaced soon because it doesn't, it's not good enough. I think it must be at least 14. In order to connect to this device, you need to download the app. The app is uh, same has same name as the box Aniscan. So the app called Aniscan. If you start it. You get the same interface as, as the X tools I had, D7 and D8. I've got plenty of updates, but I'm not gonna install them because they do take space. Special functions. I've, I've downloaded oil reset. You can get a bunch of them. I'm gonna show you what options you have. So you got all these uh, different uh, car brands, uh, Renault, Pontiac, Lots of Chinese brands, Buick, Gaz, Russian, Subaru, Mercedes, Oppo, Infiniti, Lexus, Porsche. And uh, apart from diagnostic software, which takes some space, you can go spe special function like this one, special function EPB, which is electronic parking brake. My car has manual parking brake, just simple with the wire, so it's not, you, you, I don't need it. Here we go, executing, please wait, yeah, that's us. So you get automatic scan, which is a uh, full scan, fast scan, it reading the data from the canvas, which is faster than automatic scan, or you can go to full system. I really like Xtool um, user interface. It's s simple, understand, full system diagnosis, so you get different controllers of the car. So engine, transmission, brakes, uh, climate control, we can get to driver's door electrics. It, it does do two bi-directional like actuation test. So not only you can read ECU, not, not only you can read ECU, uh, read trouble codes, DC, DTCs, uh, clear live data, actuation test. So actuation test is very easy. So mirror i've got full auto folding mirrors we can do fold in for example and look at that mirror there i press start and it folds this mirror we can unfold it again there we go Things like uh, controlling, I'll show you something. So, say if you need to test, test your brake lights, nobody's sitting in the, inside the car. I press and brake, brake lights, I can test just like this. Anything in the car can be tested.
when you're looking for the plug so it has some leds or maybe you can use it as a torch in general how more practical can it get probably missing bottle opener or something all right going back to our controllers the most common controller obviously will go you will go to the engine electronics read the cu information read full codes clear full codes live data live data there are two types some packet data whatever that means and uh, default data flow so you can uh, see voltage terminal 13.2 pretty much that one shows 13.1 we have 13.28 so maybe it loses voltage a little bit by the time to get till it gets to obd port rpms there you go cool the temperature 87 degrees your um, DPF, uh, DPF diesel particulate filter values this suit level oil level for example you don't need to use a depth stick uh, warning threshold is 31 millimeters currently in on is on 55 centimeters so it's 2.4 um, centimeters above the z lowest level where it gives you signal that oil level has dropped so two centimeters over so lovely so you can without getting out of your car you can just know everything you need to know my favorite things i always do with the test because um i like to move it move it i like to move it move it so you you at the moment i've downloaded all i needed for myself if you need more if you need more mod uh, more car models if you need more special functions because i i just got oil reset for myself uh, special function doesn't seem to be to take too much space anyway good value device nice to have so far i think it's out of all I, scanners i have this one takes all the boxes for me and uh, considering unlike obd11 when you have to pay for every option this one this everything is free you don't need to pay a couple of quid for just resetting oil service which is not that expensive but considering you just all you want to do oil service reset why would you need to pay for that so thank you for watching